Welcome back, everybody. I'm Alan Taylor. This is the pioneering performance stage at the Shell Display SEMA 2015. Joining me right now is Craig Jackson. How you doing, Craig? Very good. Having a very busy SEMA. I can tell you right now, look at this place. And it was raining this morning, and the crowds are out. It's cold in Las Vegas. Yeah, it is. You know, we had an auction here a month ago, and it was uh, 100 degrees on Friday. <laughs> I know. It definitely changed here really quick. Listen, the sights and sounds. You can hear the Ford cars running around just behind us. People everywhere. But what they don't know, and if they don't know, they haven't been paying attention, is that next year is the 45th anniversary of Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale. That's right, and this will be one of our best events ever. Uh, last year, you know, having the Ron Pratt collection is uh, something to follow up. 1,600 pieces of automobilia. We already have two collections this year. 1,300 pieces of automobilia already consigned for Scottsdale. Some great cars. We brought a few of them here. Yeah, right here in the Shell display. What do you got here? I've got my Javelin. Used to be my brother's Javelin uh, that I go out and race with Shell and Pennzoil. And, uh, you know, I race vintage Trans Am. I raced B production. I got the 65 Shelby that was my brother's car it, sitting in the Ford display. And then in our booth, we have the French Connection, the last Boyd Coddington car built. Uh, it's made to look like a Fagoni Falashi Dallahay. That thing is it's sitting in the lobby, isn't it? No, it's sitting in our booth. It's in your booth. That's it's where in I our saw booth. it. And we also have Quicksilver, which is the pickup truck that won the Barrett Jackson Cup. Yep. Uh, beautiful 32 uh, high boy in there. Great cars already. Three VIN number one Corvettes will be coming across the block in January, a 55, 6, and 7. Uh, three DeSotos already consigned, uh, those as unbelievable restorations. In muscle cars, uh, Pontiac Swiss cheese car, um, it's going to be one of our best auctions, I tell you, the diversity. Well, the Bear Jackson Collector Car Auction is the world's greatest collector car auction and exhibition. It's held in January, and it is the 45th anniversary. Check it out at BarrettJackson.com. But you guys did something that was so amazing with the Pennzoil Gang, with the airlift drift car in Reno, delivering the Barrett Jackson Cup in the, at the break of dawn, the crack of dawn. Reese Millen was just terrorizing Reno and the, make a great video. But you guys, it wasn't all easy, was it, doing all that? No, it wasn't. Uh, Megan Jones and Jeff Catlin, you know, they, uh, Megan put in a lot of work ahead of time to get all the permits to talk everybody into doing it and working with Shell Pennzoil. But then when the car arrived, it did not have the uh, arm on the turning brake. <laughs> Which makes it almost impossible to do all that drifting. He's like, well, I can drift it, but it not well. Yeah, like, right. well, I don't know if we want to do this not well. Right. So we made one, Jeff Catlin and the maintenance crew at the Eldorado made one out of a mop handle. <laughs> and uh, it actually came across, you would have known it. But no, uh, when I you know. watch I mean, the video. And it's it, awesome. It, uh, everybody turned the video around, and uh, we showed it at the party that evening. So, you know, we, we love the association with Shell Penn's Oil, and uh, we thank them very much for uh, helping us uh, achieve something that had never been done before to kick off the Barrett-Jackson Cup. Well, you know what? And Barrett-Jackson Cup is going to continue on and just continue to grow. I know it's over a $100,000 prize purse these days. And I can tell you right now, the whole world watches when the Barrett-Jackson Cup happens every year because that car, just like Pebble Beach, when you have a winner of Pebble Beach or any of these concours, the value of that car goes through the roof. The same with the Barrett-Jackson Cup now. It is, and we, we've embraced, we've been here at SEMA for 20 years and embraced the aftermarket cars, the customs, and we have some of the greatest cars coming. You know, you had a Riddler winner uh, going up for the Cup this year, an Amber winner, Good Guys Truck of the Year, Good Guys Car of the Year. It was the uh, some of the best car. I didn't, you know, the job the judges did out of the 25 finalists, it was a tough competition. I'll tell you what, I would not want to be a judge. Honest to God, I looked at those cars and I went, I'm out of here. There's no way. There, there's going to be some fights breaking out between those judges. You know, it's like the judges here picking out cars out right. of SEMA. Right. You know, we've got uh, great cars here all across SEMA, 
in the uh, Jet Hot Coating booth as uh, Double Trouble will be selling uh, in Scottsdale this year. So, you know, this is a segment of the market uh, that we really have embraced. And we sell everything. We have a 540K Mercedes uh, Cab A coming in our salon. Uh, two great Talbot Lagos. I'm going to unveil one at Discovery or Velocity Live here in a few minutes. So we have something for everyone at Barrett Jackson. And again, it's the 45th anniversary of Barrett Jackson in January at Westworld in Scottsdale. And you guys, you want to see an event that looks just like this, yet everything that you're looking at is going across the auction block? Come visit Barrett Jackson. That's right. And, you know, 99% of the cars out of the some 1,500 cars will be selling at no reserve. So it is something unique, uh, something hard to replicate. Had a great meeting this morning with Velocity, and uh, our ratings are off the chart. So Well, there you go. It is my favorite show to watch on TV, Barrett Jackson, and it's because I'm always there, and then I also get to watch it in reruns that go over and over again because we never get sick and tired of it. No, it's, uh, it's something we try to do something new every year, but keep that excitement. And we have a lot of things that we haven't announced yet, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to really make something special for our 45th anniversary. Well, I'm going to be there, and we're going to do some live fun stuff there. Now, by the way, we're talking about the airlift drift and the, the whole Reno video that was made and that problem that happened out there. Don Mosier has a little something for you over here. He wants to come up on stage hey, from Craig. Pennzoil. Don? <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Don, how are you? <laughs> well, listen, uh, we had a lot of fun that morning. And uh, so Reese Miller and I kind of cooked up a little something for you. I said, look, uh, that shifter lever we made, or not shifter, but the brake, we can't let that go. That's Craig's, because we were all sweating bullets. It's like <laughs> the sun was coming up. It was getting cold. We got, time was running out. So Reese made this for you, a little trophy. <laughs> a little trophy I wondered what happened night. to it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> On, by the way, a Barrett Jackson Absolutely. program. <laughs> what else? That. I, I'm going to put this in a shadow box with a picture of the drift behind you it should. in the exactly. office. Yeah. That's, pri that, by the way, that's priceless. It that is. is priceless. I wondered what happened to it. Now I know. Well, we There it is. It. <laughs> that was the handbrake that they made at the break of dawn so we could make that television commercial and that whole video at uh, Reno at Hot August Nights during Barrett Jackson. That is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you. Greg Jackson, everybody. Greg Jackson will be available over here if you want to see you in January. That's right, January, Scottsdale, Westworld. We'll be right back. <laughs>